hello um i wanted to make this video today because well because i haven't made one for a little while um especially not on how i'm feeling how am i feeling hmm. well i've been um guessing what i'm thinking if i'm reading my body right um, signs of being hypothyroid again. Um, well, I'm always going to be hypothyroid, I suppose, but getting the hypo symptoms, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> um, I know I'm sitting here in a, in a vest top, but I have generally been feeling really, really cold. Uh, near enough every night I've gone to bed in uh, a vest, long sleeve top, pyjamas, jumper, pair of socks and um, my like slipper socks and um, some nights even my dressing gown. <laughs> um, I don't know how my husband can keep his hands off me. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, really cold. And I've sat like that most evenings with the heating on and the fire on and the blanket over me, which is a bit of a nightmare for my husband because he has um, hypopituitaryism. I think that's really hard for me to say. Um, and he feels the heat pretty bad. So, um, yeah, the poor baby, God love him. Um, if we could just have some sort of like dual um, air conditioning, you know, like you get in some of those cars. Um, but in the house, that would be great. Um, so yeah, so I've been feeling really, really cold. I've been quite shaky and jittery again. I don't know if that's coming across on the camera. Um, and the headaches, I've been getting headaches again. Um, I had a pretty bad one uh, that lasted four days. Up until like yesterday afternoon, so my head's a little bit tender today. Um, so that was really quite scary, because like I've said, you know, I used to get them for a long time, so now every time I get a bit of a twinge in my head, I think, oh no, they're going to start again, and it'll stay, and I'm getting a bit of a panic. And I just started to let my guard down, because I have been getting headaches, but they've only been lasting, you know, a few hours, a day, two tops. And like I say, this one lasted four days, and it was really, really intense. In fact, it started on um, this side and then it went from there and I thought, oh, thank God for that. And then it appeared on the other side. I tried um, a product called, I think it's called Sudafed or something like that. Sudafed Max is the one I got. And you take two tablets, it's actually for um, your sinuses. Um, and you know when you've got cold and flu. But I just tried it one day. And um, because I do get a lot of pain in my face all around the sinus areas and just here and in my eyes and you know how it is maybe, well hopefully not, but um, it's quite painful. And um, I took it one day because I didn't, I don't know, I, I think I remembered somebody saying it would be, uh, that it worked for them. So I took it and it was really great. Um, so I tried it again with this one, but I think if I'd have caught it straight away it would have been better. Um, but I didn't, but I definitely think it helped lessen it, so that was good. So I've been feeling um, what I think is hypo, the hypo symptoms. I had tried to go up to three grains um, before Christmas. Um, Happy New Year, by the way. This is my first um, proper recorded video um, after Christmas. I did a few before Christmas, but... I don't know what I've saved them to. So I've got to really have a good look around and see if I can find them. Um, speech has been a bit of a nightmare. Memory has been pretty rubbish again. Um, so, yeah, I tried to go off to three grains sometime before Christmas. I didn't last too long on that. Um, I was getting chest pains. Um, couldn't sleep that's never happened to me before so I'm not sure if it was to do with the three grains or not or just something that was happening at the same time and it was just a coincidence but I never normally have trouble sleeping um I have a lot of bad nightmares when I'm asleep um but always have done since I was a child so mm, 
I was going to say I got used, I'm used to them, but I don't think I'll ever get used to them because they're just some of them are pretty horrific. There's never, never nice dreams or just adventurous dreams. They're always pretty scary dreams, usually involving water. It's normally dark. It's normally raining, and I'm normally by some form of water, and there's it's always like creepy or something terrible is going to happen. Gosh, um, one the other week I woke up. I was really upset for quite a while afterwards. It was like something from a horror film. Um, but the least said about that, the better. Anyway, so I couldn't sleep. Heart palpitations, chest pains. Um, quite shaky, which was is a pain because the shakiness can be hypo and hypo. Lots of the things can overlap, which is not helpful. Um, so I went back down to, I think I went back down to... Uh, two and a half so I've been on that for quite a few weeks now um, I'm wondering if that's why I'm so cold all the time and not feeling great so yesterday um, I upped to three so we'll see what happens and I've been better much better taking my vitamins again so hopefully by the end of the week or next week, I'll start to feel um, better again. But, you know, I feel a whole lot better than I did um, this time last year when I was on Love With My Boxing. So, you know, you know that's got to be something, hasn't it? And actually, you know, when I think about it, um, this time last year I was in a pretty sorry state. And just before Christmas, my husband was really worried about the headache, so was I actually, um, that I was getting, and he'd made me promise that my New Year's resolution would be to go to the doctors um, to have the headaches checked over, and I did, and I was just told they were stressed, and it, you know, they didn't, weren't particularly bothered how long they'd been going on. It seems that because I'd said, I said I'd had headaches on and off, um, probably since I was in my twenties, but they were just headaches then. Um, I like to read, I used to read quite a lot. Um, the job I was doing at the time, um, I don't know, you, you kind of focus in, in close in on one spot for a long time and then you'd look up and everything could be blurry. And then I'd go home and I'd read. I also was doing an even, um, I also started retraining. Um, so that meant another, a lot of reading. So I did get a lot of headaches then, but they came and they went. Um, they were not the same as this at all, but as soon as I mentioned I've had, had had headaches in the past, excuse me, sorry, had had headaches in the past, um, they weren't particularly bothered. So, I don't know, sounds a bit over the top, or I wouldn't have said no if they'd have offered me a scan. Um, but anyway, they didn't. Um, and then I just got worse and worse and you know the rest. Um, just felt like I was dying and felt like I'd had overnight um, Alzheimer's. We didn't know if I'd had a stroke. I couldn't speak, I was slurring, couldn't think, couldn't remember my son's name, couldn't remember where I worked. Um, cold all the time, anxious. Um, the doctors, as you know, um, kept saying I was depressed. I'd say it was close, but I think I was more just fed up of feeling so ill. And, you know, as soon as I started feeling a bit better, um, you know, my mood lifted. So if I'd have gone on to the antidepressants like they wanted me to, I would never have known. I would never have known that. Um, a month or so later I would have started feeling a bit better because I would have been numbed with the um, antidepressants. Now the thing is, if you need to be on antidepressants, on antidepressants, then you need to be on them. Um, as I've said before, I have suffered from depression. Um, I had a huge episode after something traumatic happened um, about 15 years ago, something like that, I can't remember exactly, 13 to 15 years ago, and I was put on antidepressants. And the doctor explained to me then that it was just like, um, because of what had happened, 
She said, imagine um, a shelf full of nice tidy boxes and then something's come along and it shook the shelf and everything's ended up all over the place on the floor and you're just not capable at the moment of putting everything back and you need a bit of help. So she prescribed the antidepressants and um, they did help me at the time. They really did. <clears throat> I was on them for about three years. Um, I just felt numbed to everything, which at the time I'm kind of glad of and I needed it. But towards the end of the three years, I felt, started feeling different. I was a different person. I was, you know, the thing that had happened was quite a while ago. You know, like, it, it, I'd had time to feel better, to get well, and I wanted to come off them. The doctor wanted to keep me on them, and um, I refused, so we came to a compromise that I'd wean off. Um, which, well, I say compromise, uh, I said that's what I was going to do and she couldn't stop me doing it. But I did promise I'd do it safely because I know that it's dangerous to just stop just like that. So um, I did it slowly um, by um, alternating it with, um, I forget now what they're called, I think they're called calms or something like that. And then lessened them and, and up the calms and then eventually I was only on the calms and then I lessened those until I wasn't on anything. So it's not a, like I'm um, anti antidepressants. I think they're a great thing if that's what you need. But I don't know if it's because I've had depression before that I knew this time it was not the same. I just was sick of being sick. I thought I was dying. I was in so much pain and I just knew there was something wrong. Anyway, I've totally lost the thread of what I was saying. Um, I know what it is now. I know I was talking about this time last year and feeling dreadful and the fact that if I had gone on the antidepressants, I don't know if I'd have just been numb to everything or if I'd have um, found that spark, that bit of fight to... Um, start looking into what was wrong with me and um, or to have, I don't know, things might have been completely different, they might have not, they might have been the same. Either way, uh, we're here now and it's a definitely, it's definitely a different start um, to, than it was um, to last year and a better one. Might still be feeling a bit rubbish, um, I feel quite a bit more lively today than I've felt um, I've been really, really tired. I don't know if it was because over Christmas, the lead up to Christmas was so busy. And, you know, it does tend to fall on one person and um, that person is me. And, you know, my husband's in ill health as well. So it's not, you know, it's not, he's not lazy. It's, you know, he's not feeling too great. And, you know, he's not the best at organising things or getting things together and because of his pituitary he gets really quite stressed quite um, quickly so it's just and, and is a little bit slower at doing stuff so it was just easier for me to do it um, <clears throat> and plus I had my mum come in um, and I don't know it was just gonna it was just like a lot to do in a short space of time so um, I just had to do it and then the, the you know Christmas week um, we went out and took mum to places. We went um, went to Longley to see the, um, the Festival of Light. That was amazing. Went last year and again this year it was fantastic. So if you're thinking of something to do next Christmas, I'd definitely put that on your list. It was amazing. Uh, anyway, um, I said loads of housework to do. I was the one who was buying all the food. I wrapped all, you know, near enough every present there was to wrap, even wrapped my mum's presents. Um, do you know, I put the decorations up, cooked all the meals, washed all the dishes, and I uh, don't know where I found the energy from, but I did. And then no sooner had my mum gone home, uh, had my mum gone home, I just felt exhausted. And all I've wanted to do is sleep, and obviously I'm back at work. Um, but, so I can't. But, 
Um, the baby started preschool last week, um, and he goes uh, and he goes for mornings, and he stays for lunch, and um, he goes four mornings a week, and two of those mornings um, fall on my days off, and it's awful because we were both thinking, gosh, what should we do? You know, there's like so much that we need to do, and we've slept. If that's all we've done. Um, so we drop him off at preschool, maybe get um, a few shops, a um, few bits of shopping in, and uh, we've raced home, had a, had a nap, and uh, gone to collect him. And I've got to admit, this is not right, it really isn't, but because he's been so tired after preschool, he's come home and he's had a nap, and uh, we've gone up and had a nap as well. And a couple of those naps have been for two hours um, and it's awful but you know t I think I needed it because today I feel like I've got more energy I'm hoping it's like maybe the supplements that I've be actually been taking and uh, the NDT that I've been taking um, more regularly I'm hoping they're all kicking in and this is you know the beginning of something good. Mm -hmm.